On Thursday, the United Nations kicked off this year's 16 days of activism against sexual and gender-based violence as more than 1 billion women globally face an existential threat. The global theme for this year's 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, which will run from 25th November to 10th of December 2021, is Orange the World and Violence Against Women Now. At a briefing in Abuja, the Deputy Representative of UN Women in Nigeria, Lansana Wana, said the 16 days of activism against violence in women is celebrated every year to call for the prevention and elimination of violence against women and girls across the world. The campaign was started by activists at the inaugural Women's Global Leadership Institute in 1991 and used as an organizing strategy by individuals and organizations around the world to call for the prevention and elimination of violence against women and girls. Prevention. You are looking at methods whereby you you create an environment where violence is absent completely. And so we are teaching the younger generations, both girls and boys, to be free of anything violent. You know, in their environment, in their homes, wherever they are, and for boys as well to support girls. You know, in the society, and also protect them from the ills that are happening in the society um, currently and above. So for us, it's not just about um, providing rehabilitation. Rehabilitation um, to people or to victims or survivors, but to create um, a generation, you know, that is devoid of this menace, you know, of this pandemic that is ravaging the world at the moment. So it is important for us right now to be with these young generations who are going to be the change that we are seeking to have in the community and society at large. We commend every effort being made to tackle it, to address it, and my joy today is that we are actually going to the youth, to the younger ones, when we. Get Get them to understand the discussion about um, violence against women. In fact, every kind of all forms of um, gender-based violence. When we begin to address it and tell them how it works and how it can be prevented, I think we are going a very long way in preventing this um, menace. If we catch them at this stage, it will go a long way in uh, uh, eliminating most of the major challenges we have uh, had to do with not just attitude-based, which starts from this level, but also. So um, at the higher level and the older they get, so they can stick to these values that we instill them down and then understand the ramifications of, of their attitude and the society they live in and how everything else works either for or against them. With this sensitization, with this education, at least children will be equipped, informed and to know that this notion should be abolished. We are all created equal. So violence, gender-based violence, specifically on women, should be discouraged. A lot of people are discriminating women. So I think like it's a good foundation to be laid for the women all over the world. I believe that it is very important for women to also have equal advantages and rights in society. Because today we are mainly talking about human trafficking. And we've noted that human trafficking has become rampant mostly among women and children. And this also leads to sex trafficking and all sorts. So I believe that this campaign is very important in ending human trafficking among women and girls. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.